Hey, it's Josh here with Top Form Fitness, and once again, it is time to do it with Hewlett. And in this video, I wanted to talk about uh, some ways you can increase the intensity of your workout without increasing the weight. So this is good for maybe when you hit a plateau and you're not able to add any weight to the bar anymore. Uh, I've made a blog post about this before, some different ways you can uh, increase uh, your intensity or progress in your workout without adding load. Uh, but I'm just going to talk about today, I'm not going to get into uh, reducing rest intervals or changing your volume, adjusting exercises. I'm just going to look at a couple of ways with using the same exercises and the same weight that you're stuck at and you can make it a little bit more challenging. So we're going to talk about set extensions today and how you can adjust the tempo to make it more challenging. So I'm going to be doing one of my minimalist workouts today and we're going to be implementing these techniques in that workout. And I got my pre-workout in me, a little beta alanine so I feel like fire ants are eating my face. We're ready to go. Let's do it. Okay, so the first exercise we're going to do is the deadlift and the set extension technique that I'm going to be demonstrating is called rest pause. Great way to push through failure so when I can't do any more repetitions, I'm going to take a 15 to 20 second rest and see if I can do a couple more. I'm going to do a few clusters like that. So this is a great finisher, especially on your last set. Do it, let's do it! set extension technique I'm going to be demonstrating here is a drop set. So again, I go with the T and then reduce the weight. Again, by another 30% or so, to push out as many reps as possible. Okay, the last exercise we're going to look at in this circuit is a chin-up. And the intensity technique that we're going to look at is playing with your tempo. So we're going to make two little adjustments to tempo to increase the challenge here. And one is to slow down the eccentric, or slow down the negative. Now I'm not talking about super slow reps, just make sure you control the negative part of the rep. So two to three seconds max, 
on the lowering phase. And we're also gonna pause or hold the hardest part of each repetition, the top in this case. This can be employed on any exercise by pausing or holding the hardest part of each repetition. Continue to cannot perform any more repetitions. I might even add to this some cheats or jumps at the concentric and then just for, focus on the negative only for the last few repetitions. This will really make it a much more challenging exercise, increases the intensity of your workout without adjusting the exercise of the load that you're using. You're definitely gonna feel this. If you employ some of these techniques, you're gonna get some good doms. That's all for today. If you got any questions or comments, post them down below and until next time, Stay strong.